A British artist has claimed he was abducted by a UFO and now aliens are projecting ideas onto his brain inspiring him to paint. Lloyd Canning, 33 believes he was first captured by extraterrestrials in 2005 after he saw a massive spaceship hovering above his car. A few days later, he says that he felt compelled to paint certain images that he thinks are the alien's way of communicating with the human race. The dad of two, a former scaffolder, is so certain otherworldly creatures are using him as a medium he has given up his job and now paints these spooky images full-time. Lloyd, from the Vision, works has used his so-called encounter to create works that show portraits of planets and aliens and after years of keeping his collection secret in fear of being laughed at, Lloyd says he now regularly exhibits at alien conventions and is preparing for his first international show. He said, when the visions are coming on it feels like a load of anxiety, building up and up, sometimes for days. Then all of a sudden I will have a clear image in my mind that I just have to paint. Ever since that first sighting I have had these crazy visions that just come over me. When they happen it's like I don't have a choice, I just have to paint them. It's something that I think I have to tell people about. I think I was chosen because I was an artist, and they know they can channel through me. Lloyd, who claims to have been visited by six alien spaceships, had his first alien experience nearly 10 years ago when he was driving home after buying a new second-hand van. He was amazed when he saw a huge round shining spacecraft flying overhead and later that night he started to feel unwell. As the anxiety built to a near intolerable level an image sprang into his mind, and he rushed to recreate the image in paint. Lloyd, who lives with partner Sharon Pullum, claims he is sent a new alien-themed image almost every week and he has amassed a huge collection of work. He said, as it passed over I was completely awestruck and I froze, I couldn't understand what had flown over me. It was a massive object, with no wings, and flew over without any sound. It was a roundish shape, I couldn't see the whole craft, just the underbelly, it was absolutely massive. I kept my artwork secret until 2012. I had shown it to a few people, my friends and so on, but didn't feel ready to show it to the world. I had my first exhibition in April last year and since then I have exhibited in Manchester, the Cotswolds and Redditch. I met someone at a recent event in Leeds and he explained to me about channeling. He said to me there's a strong chance that you're being used by extraterrestrials they could be channeling through you. Lloyd, who is looking to host a one-man show in Los Angeles next year, added, it's kind of a scary thought. Nigel Watson, author of the Haynes Manual into UFO Investigations, said it was quite common for aliens to communicate in creative ways. He said, it's quite common for a UFO sighting to have life-changing consequences. UFOs are not necessarily aliens but instead could be beings from a parallel universe visiting through wormholes or portholes, or, they could be time travelers from the future. It's quite common for people to have telepathic messages, or they might do automatic writing, or, as in this case, illustrations and artwork. In a way if they are aliens trying to contact us, it would be logical that they wouldn't send us a text message, but might contact us through telepathy or other means. Mm -hmm.